We recently conducted a study looking at heart function and heart health in anabolic steroid users, both past and former, and compared them to a group of otherwise similar non-steroid using weightlifters. And the goal of the study was to really, for the first time, develop a, a complete profile of how steroids affect the heart. Uh, and our findings were quite sobering, and that is that these otherwise healthy men had a fair bit of heart disease that was largely explained by their steroid use. Uh, and the heart disease came in two forms. It was diseases of the heart arteries, which we all know as coronary artery disease, blockage or placking in the arteries, and there was also weakness in the heart muscle, both a, a failure to contract as well as to relax. And these are things that, again, after controlling for other risk factors that cause problems, were quite clearly a function of steroid use. It turns out that some of what we found is probably reversible with, a, with stopping steroid use, but some is probably not, particularly the placking in the arteries and the stiffening of the heart appear to be things that don't completely recover even after there's been uh, a, a discontinuation of the steroid use pattern. You know, there's a common misconception that steroid abuse is confined to elite and professional athletes, and that's simply not the case. Um, prior work from our group has suggested that anywhere from three to four million men in America have used steroids at some point for either, again, improving athletic performance or simply looking better, and about a third of them go on to develop a chronic dependence problem. So one of the big take-homes from this, this study is that every practicing cardiologist should be thinking about steroid use as a potential risk factor for either heart muscle problems or placking in the arteries, particularly in otherwise healthy, young-appearing men. And really, if we don't ask about this, we won't find it.